Hey FlossTube, welcome to the special edition of Creative One Studio. Guess what time it is, guys? Can you believe it's time for a new release already? I feel like we just had Need to Work Expo, but I'm excited nonetheless because there's just something about all the behind the scenes work coming together finally, and I'm just ready to share everything with you all. So let's get started. I have two punch needle and four cross stitch pieces. This is a smaller release. You know, we save our bigger releases for Nashville Market or Needle Work Expo, something like that. So this is a nice manageable <laughs> release. So first we have something that I cannot really show you. I can show you the cover. And the reason is because I designed this punch needle for Park Designs. They make hooked rugs, chair pads, runners, benches, and pillows. So this design will be made into all of those products. So I had to send the original punch needle to them so that they could color match it and make sure they get the right yarns and everything. So I will just show you the cover of it. <laughs> this one is called, well, you can read, right? Folk Quilt Stars. Hopefully that's coming in clear. So this was a uh, a punch needle, like I said, designed for Park Designs, and I used Weeks Color or Weeks Color Works, good lord, Weeks Dye Works and Classic Color Works. All the red that you see is Classic Color Works Cherry Cobbler, so there's seven strands of that in there, so it's quite a bit. I'm just trying to make sure that this is clear. But yeah, that's showing up really good. The color looks really accurate there. So that was my first punch needle. My second punch needle release is titled Sweet Land. Oh, I keeps wanting to focus on my face. So this is Sweet Land. This was punched with uh, Weeks Dye Works and DMC. So how I finished this is this piece. I'll put the number on the screen for you. This was uh, purchased in 2019 at Joann's Fabric. So what I did is the this wood part here was just like a natural wood color. So I painted that, like dry brushed it. That's why I didn't have to sand it because I dry brushed it. And it just makes it look kind of old and rustic. With a navy blue paint, Liberty Blue by Folk Art Paints. And then I stained the inside because it was kind of white. No, it wasn't kind of white. It was white. <laughs> and I wanted a more prim look. So I stained it. Basically, when I say stain, I'm just taking raw umber paint, watering it down, and rubbing it on or painting it on with a brush and then rubbing some off to get the desired look. Then these stars here are just little wood stars. I painted navy. It's the same as the frame and then just adhered my piece to it. So this piece actually, it has the hangers on the back, so it's supposed to hang this way. And it it was like, like I said, just all raw wood. It didn't have any writing or anything on it. So if you are looking for it, maybe they still have it, I don't know. So look for a piece that's kind of, you know, white background, just raw wood, and it's kind of this. I think it had, yeah, it had uh, twine on it, not twine. Is it twine? Anyways, it has some string on it and I cut that off. So, oops. <laughs> so that's my last punch needle for our May releases. Okay, so we're moving on to cross stitch. These beloved farm animals have been, people have been waiting for them. I introduced Wilbur and Tilly at market 2000, no, 2020. 
Yeah, because we had market and then everything shut down. So the punch needle was released then and ever since. Or maybe it was 2019. Actually, I think it might have been 2019. It's been a while anyways, but people have been asking, are you going to do those in cross stitch? And so anyways, they are finally done in cross stitch. It took me a while to get them charted, but it is done. So let me show you how cute. Oh my gosh. I just love these so much. I hope you do too. So this piece was from, I'll put a link below, but it's the original piece I think I purchased at Joanne. If not, it was Hobby Lobby, but I think it was at Joanne. And I could not find it on Joanne's website or in the store. So the tag that was attached to it was uh, Jilly Bean, J-I-L-L-I, -L -L -I, I think it's dash bean dot com. Well, I couldn't find it there either, but I went, I just searched, I did a Google search for Jilly Bean, and I found it at Craft, I think it's called Craft Direct. It's not factorycraftdirect.com. It's just craftdirect.com. And I'll have a link below. So I plan on doing, so I have, this is little Wilbur. <laughs> and then I have Tilly as well. Planning on doing a cow, a sheep, a chicken, and a donkey. I think those are the ones I'm still planning on doing. So I ended up <laughs> ordering uh, four more. Of these so I have all that I need for the whole line okay let me give you some stats on Wilbur while you look at his sweet little face Wilbur is stitched 2 over 2 on 32 count linen the stitch count is 111 by 111 the finished size is 6 and 3 quarter by 6 and 3 quarter it was stitched on picture this plus 32 count bramble linen it uses weeks dye works classic color works and DMC this was stitched by Carol Karashia, and she is a Michigander, just like me. So thank you so much, Carol. You did a fabulous job, and oh, look at, there's some color changes going on in there. So then what I did to finish it is I used uh, Dames of the Needle, Noir, uh, Mini Pom Pom, and just trimmed it after I ad adhered my stitch piece to sticky board. And then this cute little ribbon, I think I got that at Joanne. If not Joanne, Hobby Lobby, those are the two places I go, so it's one or the other. But you can find that kind of uh, ribbon anywhere. But so cute, I didn't have to stain the wood or anything, it comes this color. And it looks so much like barn wood that I didn't, I didn't worry about you know, changing it because I think it was perfect. So you know what's coming next because I kind of gave it away. <laughs> but I think Wilbur and Tilly are a team. They're the dynamic duo of farm animals. Look at sweet Tilly. I, oh, this one is my favorite. And I think it's because, I don't know, his sweet little face. I don't know. I love them both. But Something about goats. I really want a baby goat, but you know, I like flowers too and they would eat them all. It's so cute though. Okay, so I'll give you the stats on Tilly. It's pretty much the same thing. Stitch two over two on 32 count linen. Stitch count 111 by 111. Finish size six and three quarter by six and three quarter. Uh, stitched on, picture this plus 32 count bramble linen. This one uses uh, Classic Color Works and DM, only one Classic Color Works, all the rest is DMC. There's quite a few colors in this. This was stitched by the same amazing stitcher, Carol Crossia of Michigan. Carasia or Crossia? I, I said it right the first time, one time. I wasn't sure how to say it. And she told me I said it right, but now I can't remember how I said it. So Carol, I apologize if I said your name wrong. But girl, these are beautiful. You did such an amazing job stitching. Give you a little zoom in on that precious little face. I did the same finishing uh, on this one as I did on Wilbur. Our next release for May has been one of my teasers. It's a teaser in my intro for my Floss 2 videos, probably the past three or four Floss 2 videos. You've got a little glimpse of this one. This is my Scylla Witches Quaker. So if you remember, I... When I was showing you all my Halloween watercolor paintings, I had a line called Silhouettes, 
I had uh, fabric made, you know, um, I was with a fabric company at the time and they made fabric from the Scylla Witches. And uh, there was like all kinds of things made from Scylla Witches because people really <laughs> liked it. So I thought, oh my gosh, I had to do something more with my Scylla Witches. So obviously I call it Scylla Witches because they're like silhouettes. And I just thought Scylla Witches just worked perfectly. And I love the Quaker style. So I just thought it really lended itself to the Quaker style because I, maybe I'm wrong, but I think a lot of Quakers are with one or two thread colors. I mean, they're just, there's not a lot of color changes, I believe, when it comes to Quakers, at least the one I have, the ones I have seen. So let me give you the stats. Silhouette's Quaker is stitched one over two on 40 count linen. The linen is dark golden brown by XU Designs. The stitch count is 166 by 168, measuring eight and a quarter by eight. And this was done using swamp water and a guacamole by Weeks Dye Works. And I put the DMC equivalent on there for you as well. Also, you'll notice it says uh, 2020. Where does it say that? Right here. It says 2020. 2020 was the year I designed it. Okay. So that's why it has that. But I do have numbers one through nine and then a zero. <laughs> so you can change it to whatever year you want. You could even leave the year out and put a little motif in there if you'd rather do that. But I love swamp water. Swamp water, you know, if you hold it up next to 310 DMC, it doesn't look black. But I wanted this to look vintage. And I really think that I pulled it off with that floss color. Because it's more, it's got browns in like a super dark gray. It's not like black, black. So it looks faded. And my apologies, I forgot to tell you who stitched this. Jerry English of Canada. Jerry stitches a lot of samplers for me. She does beautiful work. So thank you so much, Jerry. I appreciate it. This frame is a frame that we had from when we had our Primitive Folk Company. So this frame originally was a, like a light, this part, this outer part was a light blue and then the inner part was like a burgundy. So you can kind of see when I sanded it, some of those colors sh show through, but I thought that was actually kind of cool. So let me give you a little zoom in so you can see all the little witches and all the little fun, whimsical things going on in there. So the witches, you know, they're kind of, some of them are dancing. I love, I love her <laughs> right there. She's playing the air guitar and her air in her guitar is a broom. And I think that is hilarious. Uh, I have Frankenstein on there, Dracula. Uh, this, this witch up here, she's just kind of marching along. She's kind of creeping along. She's just kind of walking along, but she's dancing too. I love her. So yeah, there's lots of kitty cats, bats, ghosts, stars, pumpkins, all kinds of fun things in here. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I think it's super fun. And you know what I like about it too is the size. This is so doable. You could stitch this by this Halloween easily. Listen to me as if I know. <laughs> but I know y'all stitch way faster than me. And because it's, I mean, if you look at the size of my hand, it's pretty small. So yay. I'm really excited to be introducing that one to you guys. All right, so we only have one more left. Any guesses? Any guesses as to what it might be? Any guesses, guys? Well, it might surprise you because I actually was not planning on releasing this one until August for the Needlework Expo. And I'll tell you why. You'll know why when you see it. <laughs> Yay, look, guys. I'm so excited. This is called For the Love of Nature. This, uh, 
Oh God, where do I start? I love this so much. My favorite part of this piece is that deer nose to nose with a squirrel on top of the tree. That is just so fun. And ah, this was designed because I love nature so much. Uh, I We have, where we live, we have lots of wildlife around. We have a pond right outside my studio. So the deer come and drink, you know, squirrels, bunnies. I've seen fox. I swear I've seen a bear before. Kevin thinks I'm nuts. We have coyotes. We have bunnies. And we have just all kinds of wonderful wildlife in our yard. So originally I called this home in the woods because I love this super cool house. What is the deal? I've been saying super cool a lot lately. I don't know. I, just, I need to stop that though. I need to knock that off right now. Oh, there's such a glare. I'm going to see if I can turn this a little bit more that way. Get away from that glare. I have all windows in my studio, so I'm not complaining. Trust me. There we go. It's a little bit better, I think. So it has a fox, a raccoon, and a bunny. You might recognize that bunny and that raccoon from another one of my samplers. Borrowed that. I love the smoke coming out of the chimney. The one forms a heart. There's lots of hearts in this, obviously, because I love nature. But like I said, I originally named this Home in the Woods. So then I ended up designing a fabric line, my first fabric line with Riley Blake's designs. Uh, they let me choose one of my samplers to design a line around. I know how much... Ooh, I know how much people, well, let me back up. I designed a Northwoods line before, years ago, way like 15 years ago. It was one of my best selling lines. It was so popular because people love nature. People love pine trees and deer and all that. So I thought it would be a perfect way to introduce myself back into the quilt market uh, by having you know another kind of north woods looking fabric line so the funny part is the reason i renamed it is because they already had someone that was having okay they already had somebody that designed a fabric line with a similar name that was coming out the same time my line is coming out it was just too close so they asked me to rename it and i really it took me a few days to think about it and then once i thought of for the love of nature, I'm like, duh, that's just so perfect because of the hearts of the trees and the wildlife. I just thought it was a perfect name. So I would be remiss to mention, uh, if I didn't mention, I should say, who framed this. Who do you think framed this, guys? Of course, Paula from Craft Gallery in Finley, Ohio, framed this for me. And I love the frame because it's a burgundy color. And it just matches the house in those hearts perfectly. So let me give you the information on this sampler. So this sampler will be in the book format like I have been doing. The silhouette, I'm sorry, Silo Witches Quaker will be papers, okay, in a bag. It sounds terrible. It's papers in a bag. <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. For the love of nature, stitch two over two on 32 count linen. So imagine if that was on 40 count linen, how much smaller it would be. It would be so, so cute. Okay, uh, stitch count 198 by 198, finish size 12 and three quarter by 13 inches. This uses classic color works, DMC, and mostly Weeks dye works. The sampler was stitched by Tina Penton of Ohio. Thank you so much, Tina. Beautiful, beautiful job. And so the reason I decided to release this now instead of waiting until August is because the fabric line comes out, starts to ship in October. And I thought, well, a lot of stitchers also quilt and I thought it would be good to, if you wanted to stitch it and make use the fabric for a quilt, you'd have some time to get this stitched before the fabric came out. I just thought I'd give you a little head start on the sampler. So that was my reasoning for going ahead and 
releasing this now. Also in September, I will be at the Garden of Quilts in Lehigh, Utah, and it is hosted by uh, Thanksgiving Point and Riley Blake Designs. It's an outdoor quilt show, if, you know, for the public, and it's amazing. I haven't been to it, but the, just looking at the photos, I'll have some links below where you can look at uh, a video from, I think it's the 2019 one, because they didn't do it in 2020. So they asked me to come and teach a couple classes. So I am teaching a watercolor class where we will be basically watercoloring this part right here. So I'm doing a watercolor class and then a cross stitch class. And the cross stitch, obviously, I put for beginners because I'm a beginner. And my class will just basically introducing people to cross stitch and helping them to get started and answering any questions that I can. But I'm doing a ton of research on not just samplers, but about cross stitch and the history. And that's what I will be sharing in that class. But the people that join that class will get this sampler fully kitted. So you get the linen, you'll get the all the flosses needed in order to do it. I'm also throwing in a needle for you. So anyways, if you live, well, even if you don't live nearby, but you want to go to the Garden of Quilts, oh, come and take my class. It would be so fun to meet you and we could do some creative stuff together. Okay, so that is it. That is it. Let me just turn this back because the lighting is a little bit crazy that way. All right, guys, I'm so thrilled to be presenting these new charts to you guys. Uh, I have sent the mass email out to all the shops so they are aware. I've already gotten orders and I'm super excited. I think everyone's excited about, uh, especially this one because of the fabric line. So anyways, thank you for watching and I just so appreciate all of you and your wonderful comments and for your support of my designs. I mean, us designers, if if you didn't buy our charts, we wouldn't be able to. Design. And we just love designing for you so much. I <laughs> just, it's so fun. So anyway, again, thanks for watching and I hope to see some of you guys stitching these patterns. Bye.